I'm just trying out a new song on my tuba. I'm going to play it with the Big Harbor Band. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me. You know, I think I'm ready to try my new song with the band right now. <laughs> That's Theodore. He's whistling along with me. Hello, Theodore. Hey. <laughs> I always remember the time that Theodore tried something new. Oh, he got so excited. Kind of like I am now about my new song. Oh, the Big Harbor Band can wait. Let me tell you all about it. Theodore was watching George pull Shelburne the sea barge out of the big harbor. How far are you going with Shelburne? asked Theodore. All the way to the other side of the ocean, replied George. How far is that? said Theodore. Oh, really far, answered George. Theodore knew he couldn't leave the harbor like George. You see, George was an ocean tug, and Theodore, well, Theodore was still a harbor tug. I bet I could go across the ocean, Theodore called to George. One day. Maybe, shouted George, and he turned toward the open ocean. One day, repeated Theodore softly. One day. The next day, the tugs were all gathered round the dispatcher at the great ocean tug and salvage company dock for the morning work meeting. There is a bellboy just outside the harbor, out on the ocean, said the dispatcher. He needs a new bell. I need one tug for the job. I guess that's you, Emily, whispered Theodore. Since George is away, you're the only ocean tug here. Theodore, said the dispatcher, please leave immediately. Me, said Theodore, turning to the dispatcher. But I I'm not an ocean tug. I know, Theodore, said the dispatcher. But you have been doing many important jobs around the harbor lately, and one day you will become an ocean tugboat. This little trip will be your first step. Um float, so to speak. Theodore didn't say anything. He couldn't say anything. His engine felt like it was going too fast, though he wasn't moving at all. You'll do fine, Theodore, concluded the dispatcher. Just remember to hug the coast. Hug the coast? Does that mean I have to give the coast a hug? Asked Theodore, sounding very puzzled. No, no. I meant just, just stay close to the coast. A little later, Theodore set off for the ocean. Bedford saw Theodore coming towards him. He was happy Theodore was coming to visit, and he began to ding his bell excitedly. Then, the most surprising thing happened. Theodore just kept sailing right past Bedford. Theodore, called Bedford, where are you going? Oh, I'm an ocean tug now, called Theodore. How wonderful those words sounded to him. Ocean tug. That's great, said Bedford. How far are you going? Theodore didn't answer Bedford. He was too excited. I hope we'll still be friends when you get back, Bedford called quietly. Theodore hurried along. With each drum of his engine, he knew he was going further and further from the harbor. I wonder how far I am now, he wondered. Theodore gazed back at the big harbor. Somehow, it, it had never seemed so small before. And somehow, he had never felt so big. Now, for the first part of the trip, Theodore remembered he was supposed to stay close to the coast. Look at that strange, twisted tree, he said. Everything was so new and different than the same old harbor things he always saw. What a red rock, he said to himself. He saw a small fishing boat who lived in the cove. Hello, he called to the boat. I'm Theodore. I'm Fundy, the fishing trawler, replied the boat in a very deep voice. I live here in this cove. I live in the big harbor, smiled Theodore. But I'm going out on the ocean. I'll probably be going all the way across soon. The ocean wasn't filled in a day, said Fundy, in his deep voice. And then he was silent again. This boat says strange things, Theodore murmured. He rumbled his engine because he wanted to get going. 
Well, he said at last, I, I better be leaving for the ocean. I, I'm in a hurry. Theodore took a deep breath and turned away from the coast for the first time. Soon, too soon it seemed, Theodore could see a bell buoy. Well, that must be Blanford, he said to himself. I guess this is as far as I get to go. Hello, he called to Blanford. I'm Theodore, the new ocean tug, and I brought your new bell. Many thanks, said Blanford. Haven't seen you out here before. Oh, you'll probably be seeing a lot of me, said Theodore. I'll be going across the ocean soon. That's because I'm the new ocean tug. Do you know Bedford Bowie? He's a friend of mine, said Blanford. Sure, replied Theodore. But he, he just lives in the harbor. I probably won't see him much anymore since, well, since I'll be out on the ocean most of the time. Theodore turned to head back home. And that's when he saw a surprising sight. There, not too far away, was Owen the giant oil rig. Now, Owen is Theodore's friend. Well, what's Owen doing out here? asked Theodore. That's where he works, replied Blanford. So that's where Owen goes when he's not in the harbor, said Theodore. Well, Theodore knew he was only supposed to go as far as Blanford, but the thought of visiting Owen made his engine skip a beat. Theodore pooted up a puff of smoke that announced, Theodore the ocean tug just crossing the ocean some more. And he was on his way. Well, Owen was a lot further away than he looked. And by the time Theodore pulled up beside him, Theodore was puffing away as tired as can be. Say, if that isn't Theodore Tugboat, boomed the big rig. Yes, sirree, Bob. Well, what are you doing way out here? Oh, puffed Theodore. Just, uh, just being the new, uh, new ocean tug. <laughs> ocean tug, bellowed Owen. Hey, isn't that something? Oh, yes, indeed he do. Great being out here on the ocean, isn't it? So nice and quiet. Theodore grinned. It certainly wasn't quiet anywhere Owen was around. Nothing like the ocean for adventures, Owen continued. Why, I remember the time I was drilling out here for oil and I dug up a giant octopus. Theodore tried to think about his ocean adventures. Well, I remember the time, he began slowly, that I, uh... I, um, I brought Blanford a new bell. Well, those two began to talk, and somehow the time just seemed to slip by. Before Theodore knew it, it was getting dark. I guess I better be getting home, Owen, said Theodore finally. Come back and visit soon, roared Owen. Oh, I will, called Theodore. <laughs> Theodore set off again towards the big harbor. But then he slowed down. With a shiver, he realized he didn't know where the big harbor was. I think, said Theodore to himself, I think I've gone too far. Theodore didn't know his way home. The water under his hull felt deeper. All around him, he saw nothing but ocean. Did the ocean suddenly get bigger? He wondered. That ship must be going toward the harbor. Theodore turned to start following the ship. Theodore! It was Owen again. If you're going to the harbor, it's the other way! Owen hollered. Oh, oh that ship must be going further out on the ocean, said Theodore. Yes, sirree, Bob, boomed Owen. I didn't know the ocean was so big, he said softly. I hope I can find my way home. Finally, Theodore could see Blanford Bowie. Then he stopped again. Now which way do I go, he wondered. I thought you were going back to the harbor, said Blanford. I was, replied Theodore. I mean, I am. Um, Blanford, where is the harbor? Oh, just hug the coast and you'll be home in no time, shouted Blanford. Hug the coast, Theodore said to himself. That's what the dispatcher said.
Theodore looked around. And sure enough, there was the coast. He set off again, already feeling a bit better. Well, by the time Theodore reached the coast, he was so very tired, it felt like his anger was dragging and his bumpers had blisters. At last, there was the little cove where Fundy lived. Do I go this way, wondered Theodore, or that way? If a tug goes a traveling, he won't come home a super tanker, Fundy said in his deep, deep voice. I wonder, Theodore thought to himself, if Fundy means that I should go home the same way I came. Theodore looked along the coast and saw a red rock, and beyond it, the giant twisted tree. I know that rock, he said. I passed it on the way here. Theodore set off towards the rock. Hug the coast and I'll soon be home, Theodore repeated to himself. Oh, how terrific those things looked to Theodore. Even better than the first time he saw them. Somehow, he didn't really know why, but Theodore had the feeling that while he was hugging the coast, that coast was hugging him right back. And that was a nice feeling, a feeling of being safe. Safe and almost home. Finally, Theodore heard a very special sound. Bedford, he shouted. I saw a twisted tree, a giant rock, and a funny fishing boat, and Owen was there, and a ship was leaving for the ocean, and Blanford says hello. The words came tumbling out of Theodore's mouth so fast he didn't even have time to stop for a breath. Oh, it sounds great, said Bedford. Theodore stopped. It had been kind of great, but it also felt so good to be back in the Pig Harbor. He looked at his good friend, Bedford. You know, said Theodore, the greatest thing I saw all day was you, Bedford. I missed you too, Theodore, said Bedford. I guess next time you'll go really far. Oh, smiled Theodore, maybe just a little way at a time. That's okay, isn't it, Theodore, said Bedford. It sure is, Bedford, smiled Theodore. It sure is. Theodore's first trip outside the big harbor. I wonder how far he'll go next time. Well, it's time for me to play my new song with the band. Thanks for visiting us here in the Big Harbor. We'll see you all again next time. Wait a minute. Maybe I don't know my new song as well as I thought. I better practice some more. How does it go again? Theodore's telling me how to begin. One and two. That's it. Thank you, Theodore. Bye now. Theodore. He's a tugboat and a friendly tugboat too. A friendly tugboat too. Oh, Theodore. Likes to do the things that friendly tugboats do. Pushing and a pulling in the great big harbor in the great big world is so much fun. So many brand new things to discover. Waking with the sun, gotta get the job done. Oh, Theodore and Emily, Oda, Hank and George, and the harbor master too. enjoyed your Theodore Tugboat stories. Theodore Tugboat and his many floating friends present playful stories and positive values for young children. Collect the complete Theodore Tugboat home video series wherever quality family entertainment is sold.